John Burnham, Vice President of Writers Inc., the Red Deer and Area Writers Group, and Jock McKenzie took a trip down to Calgary to Blitzprint. Blitzprint is the home of Trish Romanchuk. And I've always said that there are three kinds of people those people who make things happen, those people who watch things happen, and those people who sit around and wonder what happened. Well, Trish is one of those people who makes things happen. It was a treat working with her, and here's the book that she published on our behalf. When we got there to pick up our 250 copies, Trish showed us around Blitzprint, and here she is standing with John just out into the back. She gave us an excellent tour and more information in less than an hour than I'm sure I've learned in years and years. Here's the very first room that we went by, and it's actually a room where they look at all of the stuff. It's a room filled with computers. So when we would send our files to Trish down at Blitzprint, she'd send it along to this room. They would look at the files that we had. They indicated that our cover needed just a little bit of tweaking before it was ready. They offer you a chance to uh, ha have a look at the proof. And once it's okie dokie by the computer, off we go to a room next door. This is a huge room with two large Xerox digital printers. These are Gen 3 and they're for doing the color printing and doing the very fine work that is required in, I guess, in a book, certainly in the cover of our book. And it's a room that is humidity and temperature controlled. This not very good picture of a not very sophisticated looking gauge uh, simply indicates that that's what they do. Here's a little article that I dug up on the net that talks about how temperature and humidity affect the printing. Trish tells us that uh, Blitzprint is one of the few places that has that kind of control. I also didn't really understand the difference between digital and offset printing. Digital printing is what they do. A key difference, I gather, is that it has to do with quantity. Up to a certain amount, probably just as easy and a whole lot faster to print digitally. But if you're interested in finding out more about the digital versus offset printing, here's a website that you, you can go and check out. Uh, of course, as always, lots of things on the net to find. But we were very satisfied with the quality and the price we got couldn't beat, or did beat, I'm afraid, everything in Red Deer. Then we were out to the back and Trish showed us the kind of paper we were given in our book. It was 60 pound husky paper and again looking on the net found a little bit more information. I didn't really understand the whole idea of uh, opaque or opacity. Uh, I did know a little bit about brightness. Certainly you can get different uh, degrees of brightness and you'll see here that ours was 94. It also mentioned here that it's an SFI kind of paper. Didn't know what that meant. Uh, if you look through the fine print here, you'll learn just a little bit more about paper, and I guess that's what we trust that they know about. Thicker book would have had 50 pound paper, as I mentioned, we had the 60. Here's a little about a little bit about SFI, Sustainable Forestry Initiative, and in essence, what that is, I gather, is that the industry finds third-party folks that will come and look at their particular plant and what they produce and will guarantee and put a stamp on the paper that they follow certain um, environmentally sound and sustainable initiatives in their business. Then off into the back for a look at the regular printer, as you can see in a large room with all kinds of other machinery there. And when they print the book, they'll print it four pages at a time like this, uh, front and back, so that they have an entire stack of our book. So if it came out at once, it doesn't because the cover goes on later, but that's what it would have looked like, four stacks of addiction. Once they get those four stacks, they take it over to the machine, this one. You see the balloons there that I think are another uh, humidity kind of control thing. Uh, in goes and the cover is added and it's a word and out it fires the other end and goes next door to another machine the actual cover sticks out the top, out the bottom and out the sides and uh, chomp chomp away it goes. If the book is super thick it goes over to this machine 
you'll see here John showing where both hands have to be away from the giant choppers and chunk chunk goes the book. This is a picture of a uh, saddle stitch machine. That roll of wire there indicates uh, the fact that they use that to adjust the staples. So there's old Jock showing you out in the office we have been touring Blitz Print and a bit of a lightning fast tour of the plant in Calgary just off the Glenmore Trail and of course Trish being the I think extremely professional person that she was along the way showed us a whole or told us a whole bunch more stuff she talked about promoting your book talked about people that assist you in doing that suggested folks that either have their books printed there or that she has become knowledgeable about because they don't do that part of it really they do the, the printing and binding of books so here's a list of some of those other sites how to self-publish how to promote a couple of examples coming up in just a moment here of people who use blitz print calgary people um, either for marketing purposes and in just a moment an interesting name small shifts books uh, some folks there that publish children's books and just an indication that this is a vibrant and ongoing industry maybe ongoing isn't the word we hope it's ongoing and people that are in the industry another Calgary fellow who has uh, written a true story about his survival in World War II and then following that a gal from Calgary again who writes and does I guess very well keeps coming back to get more books printed so there's kind of a quick look uh, just under six minutes of blitz print how we had our an anthology printed and if you have more questions certainly call Trish Romanchuk at Blitz Print in Calgary mm -hmm.